just coming on very quick um i told you i was expecting a delivery of damien my ups man <laughs> um anyway it came not so long ago he always leaves me till last i think um i think he does it just to wind me up <laughs> so i've taken everything out of the box i have removed some of the outer packaging so that we don't get all that rustling and crinkling and whatnot so we're going to dig in first of all i wanted to show you these and i couldn't wait to get my hands on these and i think there's four colors <laughs> you probably think what okay what are they well on the top if you read it it says all purpose ink Okay, and these are made by Tuxedo. Oops. Can you see that? These have still got the outer wrapping on. But apparently you can put them in your Mr. Sprays. You know the little... Um, spray bottles that we have. I'll show you now. I'm just taking the, the wrapper off. I am still here honest. But they put like a thingy wrapper on, you know, for shipping. And of course Mel's got static issues. Get off. Come on, get off. And the reason I took them out of the box before I come on, to be honest with you, is because I needed the box. <laughs> I'm getting things ready to be sent off and, yeah, Mel needed the box. So, we sell these bottles, this Mister bo Misty, the little spray bottles. Okay, now apparently, can you hear that? You can add these in your misty spray bottle. And I don't know whether it's picking up. To me, it looks like a concentrated wink of Stella. <laughs> it's just picking it up there, the little sparkles. So, I purchased the champagne, colour num number 74, champagne mist, and I purchased the colour number 72, frost white, and they have a ball burden or something in. Um, now these, don't know whether you'll pick the shimmer off of this, it's gorgeous. Um, they can be used on fabric as well. So, win-win in my book for fabric use. Iron design to cure the ink or the materials. Heat settings not required. Non-toxic and acid-free. Shake well before use. Do not ingest and confirms to standard sort of thing. Um, yeah, so you can use them on fabric as well. So, yeah, I couldn't wait to get hold of them. And I'm going to get the other colours as well. I think there's two other colours, but to be honest with you, I think there may be some more in the new year. <laughs> okay, so what else have I got under here? Oh, I, I finally got the Softly Fallen Embossing Folder. See, when I just add the Gemini, for some unknown reason, my Gemini would not take embossing folders and it didn't matter. Whose embossing folder it was, it spat it out. So, <laughs> I finally got that. Now, you've all seen this one and you all know how much I love it. So I shall pop that out the way. 
and show you this one. Now, I know this is Halloween and I know that us lot over here do not celebrate Halloween as much as America do, for instance. Um, but I, I have four little grand, well they're not little, my eldest grandson is six, the twins um, are five and then we have Kayla, she's not long term one there in July. Um, so yeah, I have grandbabies um, and to be honest with you, my grandbabies don't really do the trick and treat thing. Um, because I think this day and age, it's it's not safe, for want of a better word. Um, unless you've got an adult with them, you know. So we always tend to do them like a tea party. Um, so this would come in great for little treat bags and invitations. So we get the two sheets of each. So we have the witch with all different coloured hair. There's blonde hair, ginger, brown, black. So that's the top side. And we have the black cats on the other side. Then we have our sweet spooky ghosts. <laughs> Who, who watches that, um, not Witches of Eastwick, what's the one with what's her face in? Oh, I can't think of it now. It'll come back to me before the end of this video. So we have our sweet little ghosts and they're in like a muted purple and a muted green on a black background. And then we have the purple. So, I mean, even if you don't use it all for Halloween, you can use it as backgrounds. Then you have pumpkins. The name of that film will do my head in now. <laughs> so we have all different shaped pumpkins. And again, us over here, we don't really celebrate fall or thanksgiving so it's a shame really but and then we have broomsticks that could even be used for a harry potter theme thing couldn't it hmm then we have the cauldrons with the black cat and i'm going to show you something in a minute with these um so you get two sheets of that and then on the reverse of that we get that lovely, I think that's that lemon and lime twist spotty one. Then we get the witch's hat. So it's just a cutesy Halloween. I mean, I don't really do scary Halloween. Then we get the frog. Yep, frog. Should show that to me mother in law, she can't stand frogs. <laughs> Naughty girl, Melissa. Then we have bats, black bats. And that could even be used for Batman. My eldest grandson is into Marvel and everything. Batman and Spider-Man and oh, Iron Man and you name it. <laughs> so I could even get away with that for Batman for him. And then we have stars. Okay, now what I wanted to show you was I got the set of this. Okay, so there's the stamp set. Okay. That is how big the stamps are, actually are. Okay. 
now I also got the framelits. So the stamp set is called Cauldron Bubble. The framelits are called Cauldron Framelits. And can you spot it? What I'm going to say already, can you spot it? Them framelits will fit them girls. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the girl that it will fit. No, it's not a. Ah, and I know which one it is, it's here. There you go. So, it doesn't fit all of them, but it will fit here. Right? And show you another one. I'm taking off the cauldron die. There's that cauldron paper. Oh, the witch hat. Let's figure out which one it is. It's that one. The witch hat one will cut out the witch hat. Okay, so that's another one. And it, all this, you know, saves you. <laughs> I mean, I was on the fence over this because I was thinking, oh, we don't really celebrate it. But it's a fun one, you know. And the cauldron fits the cauldron on the DSP. So if you're no good at colouring in, like me, <laughs> these would be brilliant. And I've just spotted something else as well. And I'm just wondering if it will fit. See the little cat? Oh my God, it fits the little cat. <laughs> So we can even cut the cat out. So we don't even have to colour him. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That makes me a happy bunny. Because <laughs> I don't have to drag the pens out. So there's all our... Um, you can even cut the stars out of the other DSP. You've got your spider's web. You've got your witch's broom. What would that be? Oh, that's the frog. So you can cut the frog out. I'm just trying to look <laughs> at the stamp set. So that's the frog. You can cut your lady out if you can colour and all that. You can cut her out. There's the one for the ghost. Yeah. So there you go. What is that? With that meddler in. I can hear you all screaming it at me. There's three of them. Three witches. It's not the witches of Eastwick. I think that's the one with Jack Nicholas in. Oh my God, that will do my head in now. Right, so I have that set, okay? So I shall just move that out of the way for a moment. Then I'll come to this one last, I think. Where did I put that? Yeah, I'll come to that one last because I want to show you something else. Okay, so then I got this set. And you can see there, there's the punch. And it's supposed to be a light bulb if you put it that way up, okay? But if you turn it that way, it looks like a foot. A shoe print. <laughs> It's just me, just the way my mind works. So that coordinates with this set, making Christmas bright. Okay, so that's that one. And this is photopolymer. Um, making spirits bright, bright, 
may your Christmas be. Friends make the seasons shine. Merry and bright. So yeah, that's that set. Okay. Then, towards the back of the winter catalogue, you can get this set. And if you look, it's got all different symbols in. Like that could be Valentine's. They're balloons. That's a star, a flower, a feather. Oh my God, a feather. Then we have a little penguin. Bunny rabbit. Halloween spider. And the pine cone. So, you buy that as a bundle and you save 10%, okay? And then you can get this as an add-on to that one. And something tells me that this one might be sticking around for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Might be. So, it's worth investing in. I'm not 100% sure, but... Smart money says it might be. <laughs> right, now what I want to show you is, let me put them down over there till it gets sorted. Um, you know our lovely DSP? Is it Santa's workshop or signs of Santa or something like that? It's that lovely flocked one. Okay. Right. I went ahead and I bought the stamp set. So this the coordinating stamp set and it's signs of Santa. Okay. It's got two from A Joyful Christmas North Pole. Wishing you everything on your list from all of us. Do not open till Christmas and more. Okay, and again, this is photopolymer. And you get 18 stamps. Okay, so that's the stamp. And it's, that one's nice. Official seal of the North Pole. And it's got SC, Santa Claus. So that's cute. Okay, now these can you see? <laughs> the signpost will cut out the signpost, even the, with the snow on it. Hang on, he's stuck on the um, flocking or whatever you want to call it. Um, Mrs. Claus can be cut out of the DSP. Okay. And um, what else can we see there that can be cut out? The presents can be cut out. Anything that makes your life easier. <laughs> I'm trying to think, see what else we can cut out there. The elf. Him there, I think. Yeah, he can be cut out. Okay, so you can, you know, and then I'm trying to think. Yeah, so then we'll go on to one with Father Christmas on. So that helps, that helps a lot. And of course, now I can't get them where they were. Come on, Mel. Yeah, so if you can't colour for toffee like me, then you will love them. Let me find one with Santa on. I think it's the one that I fussy cut out. Oh, 
Okay, here's the one with Santa on. So that'll cut our Santa down. <laughs> so it saves me from either hurting my hands trying to fussy cut out or get my scan and cut out, scan it through, then working on it to get a border edge and blah 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 blah. The dies will just do it for me, make my life a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, definitely an, an, a must, a need, I want. <laughs> So if the hobby says, um, you know, you're getting a bit much there, Melissa told me to do it. She said I needed them. <laughs> Not really, because I'll have a line of hobbies at me door. <laughs> so yeah, so that was my little haul. Um, just a couple of little sneak peeks and a couple of little, you know, shares with you there on techniques and stuff. Um, but now you definitely need this in your life. Um, if you're not so much a Halloween person, then, you know, save yourself some money. But this is a definite must. The th amount of things you can do with this set, just on its own. And I will be showing you and sharing with you and everything. Um my mind is just at the minute <laughs> can't wait to get stuck in um thank you ever so much to everybody who commented on my last video i do read them all um and i do try and get back to it all um and i'm all also watching loads of other people's videos and I might not always comment, but I'm always there in the background. That's one of my boys barking. Um, I'm always there in the background. And I do watch a lot of videos. And I do watch a lot of my friends' videos. Um, you know, especially when he's on night, as you spend a hell of a lot of time um, watching the computer and stuff. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much for all the comments on my last video. I'm glad you enjoyed it and I, I do really hope that you give it a go. Um, people were going on about the sparkle. <laughs> now, let me tell you. Right, this tub of glitter. And even the people who have been with me right from the very beginning, been with me since I was on my last YouTube channel will tell you, I have had this same glitter <laughs> for donkey's years. And I mean donkeys. And I've never ever added to it. This was one I got on the CNC channel. Right, I'm not going to say any more. It was CNC channel that you can watch on Freeview or sky or whatever right and i bought that and it was in a pretty large tub like that and about that deep <laughs> about that deep and about that wide right and i emptied it out into there and whether it was compressed in the tub i don't know but i have had that for about four or five years <laughs> And every Christmas it gets brought out and every Christmas everything, and I mean everything, gets thingied up with glitter. I can't stand the chunky glitter. It just, no. This is like baby powder. <laughs> and um, yeah, it just doesn't seem to be going down. <laughs> so... Yeah, I've had that for about four, five, six years even. So that's the sparkles I used and that was the channel I got it off. So anyway, getting back. So yeah, I can't wait to give these a go. And there is some... I'm going to be doing some tutorials using them on fabric as well. So I can't wait for them. 
Um, and yeah, I'm definitely going to get the other colours and I hope that they do bring more colours out. So there you go, ladies. That was my small haul. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on. That definitely looks like a foot. <laughs> a footprint. Could be Santa's footprints. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to go. I've took up enough of your time. So bye for now. Take care and take care of each other. Bye.